Hey guys, today we're going to look at the creepiest thing we've ever featured. It's the first spider, and it's a giant spider. Let's take a closer look. This is a black and yellow garden orb weaver spider. That's beautiful. Yes, they're very gorgeous spiders. Um, and they are very docile spiders. Their fangs are very small, and the bite is said to be no more painful than a bee sting. So I'm pretty comfortable with holding him. Oh, look at that. He's building a web on this branch I'm not here. sure if you can see it or not, but right here by my pinky finger is actually a strand of silk, and it's really strong. And he seems to be a little agitated that I'm pulling on it. And, um, yeah, he's huge. He's definitely a male, because the females have a large abdomen. But it's like the size of my middle finger, which is the biggest finger you have. Now, the body itself is like one inch. The legs are like an inch and a half. And in total, this guy's probably like two and, two and a half inches long. He is a giant spider. Now, um, the spinnerets are... Um, which make our what make the webs are right there. You see that little hole there? That's not its um, butt. That's actually the spinnerets. Its butt is on the back of the abdomen, which I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see. And I'm saving, picking it up for the finale. But yeah, you can see see this. Do you see these strands of web blowing in the web here? Yeah, we can see them. Yeah, these strands of web here. Wow. Did you see how fast he just came up on that web there? Yeah, I couldn't keep it on the camera, but that was amazing. Yeah. Look, I see, look at how much web. Yeah. Whoa! It's all the way over on the fence! Yeah, it's gonna catch something over there. She might climb across it. Oh my goodness. How did she get it all the way? How did he get it all the way over there? I didn't even notice that. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Now, do you see these little things coming off that look like tiny legs on its face? Those are called pedipalps. They're, uh, scorpions have pedipalps, they just have the pinchers at the end. These guys do have little pinchers at the end, but they're not like scorpions, because they're not mainly used to, for defense, but for holding on to females during mating. Now, their jaws are very small, too. So that's why their fangs are really... Oh, she's crawling across that big web. There she goes. Now I can really see her clearly. Look at her go. Is she going to the ground? Hold on, she's going to the ground. The web is so strong that if it were as thick as a pencil, it would be able to stop a car going at full speed. And if it were as thick as the toothpick, it would be... To it would be able to entangle you. Not me, it would be able to entangle me, but it'd be able to entangle you and all you out there watching. That's how strong this web is. I can feel it pulling. I mean, it's not gonna pull me over because it is, it's thinner than a string, but it's crazy. If this thing was as thick as a rope, it would be able to stop a race car going at full speed. Not just a regular car, a race car. This web is so strong. Now, normally, the bigger the spider, the stronger the web. So, a little tiny jumping spider, if its web was as thick as a pencil, that would probably be, feel like this one's web. Um, a jumping spider's web would probably have to be like as thick as, as thick as the average person's thigh in order to stop a car going at full speed because it's a weak web. This one is a strong, this is a strong web here. It's actually got a piece of moss on it. For a second I thought that was another spider, the small one. But no, it's a piece of moss. What do these big guys eat? <laughs> Lots of things. Um, flies, um, crickets, bees. Butterflies, like, I'm not talking about regular butterflies, but I'm talking about big, like, Luna moths. So, yeah, 
the now the favorite food source is grasshoppers because it gives them an actual meal. Like Luna moth, although they're big, they're mostly just the wings and their body won't actually give them much of a meal. But a grasshopper, the only thing they really can eat is the legs. There's a bee on you. There you go. I Thanks, got buddy. All right, but um, anyway, a grasshopper is a good meal for one of these spiders. In fact, I actually fed this guy a grasshopper and it ate it all night. It took one whole night for it to consume that grasshopper I gave it. I gave it. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty good meal for them and he's probably really full right now. But I think that's, oh, one more thing before we um, carry them. They make a zigzag in the middle of their web. Scientists are not sure what they think it's for, but what they do think it's for is that uh, a bird will see it and not fly right through the web and destroy all the spider's hard work and possibly eat the spider. Um, well, okay, well, a bird will eat the spider even if the web had not a zigzag, but a bird will just fly through it and destroy it. Another one is it might make a false sturdy landing pad. I mean, it is sturdy, but it might make a false good landing pad for an insect, and then, of course, they get stuck and the spider jolts down, like, this spider's back speed is like three feet per second. Jolts down and wraps up the prey, either saves it for later or eats it immediately. Now, the venom is similar to an assassin bug venom. The bite is not as painful as the assassin bug, but it does liquefy the insects and, you know, then they eat it much easier. I'm gonna pick them up. Hold on. Let's get them right here. Get them to kind of... Oh, 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 There he goes. It's okay, I'll get it. There you go. There you go, do that. Perfect. <laughs> Did that scare you a little bit? No. <laughs> no? Really. No. It scares the heck out of me. <laughs> we're going to pick them up. All right, we're going to release them right here in the corner of our house. Okay, so apparently he doesn't want to get off the stick. Um, let's just see if we can get all right, we're gonna pick them up again. Oh, 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 go right there. Go up that wall. Okay, he's climbing up the wall. There we go. All right. Oh, and by the way, if this video gets 500 likes, we will fly to Arizona and let a tarantula crawl up my arm like this one did. Please guys, I, I mean, I'm not looking forward to that. But at the same time, I'm really excited, so please, everyone, just um, like this video, please. I really want to see a tarantula in person. I have seen one before at the zoo, but they don't let you pick up the animals at the zoo. Plus, we want to find a wild one. Not one at the zoo, so please leave a like on this video. Goodbye.